Welcome to Speedway Motors Insider. I'm Dave C. We're going to give you an inside look at some of the new helmets Bell Helmets has. We're right here in their booth. We're with Kyle Kitzman. Kyle, welcome back again. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, first of all, a lot of great products here in the, uh, the, the booth. You got some new products. I noticed that you got some new graphics. Yeah, we wanted to uh, spice up the K1 Sport a little bit. We've added a uh, Bell Circuit graphic, so we've given the racer an option to have a custom painted look at an affordable price. This retails for $100 more than the regular K1 Sport for uh, $499.95. Now, I know one of the bigger products for Speedway Motors is the Dominator. Absolutely. And uh, you have, uh, you, give us a little idea what's, how this helmet works. Well, basically this is a Dominator 2, so it's a redesign of the original Dominator, which was a very popular open wheel helmet. So what we've done is we've incorporated a lot of the features of the original Dominator the wicker gurneys that are built into the shell that uh, help with aerodynamic uh, buffeting and provide stability at higher speeds. And we've uh, created a new visor seal for the helmet so that uh, does a really nice job of preventing dust and dirt from getting inside. And then we've also added a new feature uh, that's an, actually an aftermarket kit that's called a rock guard. And it's a protective piece that goes on the chin bar and on the forehead area to prevent rock chips and uh, keep that helmet protected. I don't know if anybody out there can see this, but it, it's it's a clear, so it doesn't take away from your graphics, and it fits on the bottom and the top. It's really cool. That's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about. Absolutely, and it's a double-sided adhesive, so it's really easy for the consumer to put it on themselves. Now, what the one helmet I got really excited about, Kyle, is this new Vader. This is a bad-looking helmet. It, it really is. We wanted to come out with an aggressive style. There are certain people that, that like that nice, aggressive, massive chin bar look, and I think the Vader accomplishes that. Now, what, what, I mean, what prompted this? Well, you know, there have been people that have been asking us for a little bit more aggressive type style, and so we wanted to, to meet the consumer's demand, and I think this will sell well in the dirt track market and also the drag racing market. How much uh, R&D and how much goes into developing a new helmet? Uh, quite a bit. I mean, this year we obviously had the Snell 2010 transition. The standards were completely different. So we did complete new retooling of all the entire product line, new liners, new shell masters. So it was quite an extensive effort. It took us about 18 months to do it. From a manufacturer standpoint, how often should a driver actually change out his helmet? Well, they should change it when it's needed. Um, what we typically tell the driver is that every five years, you should definitely replace your helmet. But if you're in a major impact, if you're in a crash where you lose consciousness at all, then you should most definitely change the helmet out. Al, thank you so much you. for being involved with Speedway Motors. Folks, this has been another Speedway Motors Insider. You got the inside scoop.